Hey, hey! Today we're going to reinstall this classic Snow Leopard iMac from 1068 up to 1010.1. Now we've had these Macs for five to six years and they've been very good machines to us. Let's go ahead and get the spec for you guys. So about this Mac up here, it's a two gigahertz core two, a uh, two gig of RAM and a 250 gig hard drive. So let's go ahead and go to the App Store. So we run the App Store from the taskbar on the dock on the bottom of the screen there. Go ahead and type in OS 10, and then use a mighty in the list there. Just select that. Obviously, click it in your results, and then go ahead and click the download button. Just there, aha! Download, and then it's a waiting game. So I'll put my password in, and now we wait. So as you can see, down on the dock at the bottom here, we've got use mighty waiting. It'll begin to download in a second. We can then keep a copy of that image and then extract the raw. Uh, install a file from that and keep it for good so you don't have to keep downloading it all the time and I'll show you how to do that as well. Keep tuned, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, at this point, once the download is finished, you'll see it pop up on the screen here. Uh, but first of all, you might want to take note that you can actually keep a copy of the OS X installer and back it up somewhere else so that in the future you can do a fresh install rather than like an in-place upgrade like this is. Or if you need a recovery media in the future, you could obviously put it on a data stick or a DVD and then obviously recover your operating system. So to do that, close down the App Store there. Go ahead and right click on your installer that's running in the, in the dock down here, as you can see just there. And you want to go to Options and then Show and Finder. It then opens uh, in the applications folder where your installer is located, it's downloaded itself to, right click on that and go to show package contents. It then opens your content, go into that. Then you want to go into shared support and then you'll see install ESD. This is the installer for Mac OS X Yosemite. You right click on that and get information for it. You'll see that it is approximately 5.2 gigabytes or thereabouts. And that is the raw Yosemite image. So go ahead and back that up and copy it somewhere for later on. And once you've done that, either do your in-place upgrade um, by following through the installer here, or like I said, burn it to a DVD and then, or a USB stick to do a fresh wipe and load. I'm gonna do an in-place upgrade right now, but later on I'll use that for um, reinstalling this as a fresh copy, and in the future we'll need a copy of that anyway. Okay, so go ahead and agree to the terms and agreements. Yeah, agree. There's the disk you want to install it to. Click install. Put my local password in. Simple as that. And that's a waiting game. I'll check back in a minute when it's made some progress. Okay, what you can see here is I'm copying um, the install image to one of our backup servers. Uh, so therefore we'll have a copy of that with the rest of the ISOs uh, for further use in the future. To do that, I went to go connect to server, which is the command K button on the keyboard, and you type in your SMB for Samba share, um, colon forward slash forward slash share name, sorry, server name slash share name, click connect. It'll ask you to authenticate with the domain or with your computer's credentials, and then connect. Once you've connected, then obviously it'll mount it. I've copied and pasted it in, just as you can see here, as you see the other ISOs and windows. Quick tip for you. Okay, we're going to get it to close all the other applications. There we go. And now it will restart and we'll have a new fresh install of Yosemite on this iMac. Let's do this, Marines. Yeah. Okay, so the packager has opened those files and planted them onto the hard drive. It now expands and opens those and obviously installs them, puts the files into place. Okay, we're going to skip signing in for now and continue on that and set up the iMac with Yosemite 10.10.1. And there we have it, everybody. We now have a shiny new operating system. That was a rolling upgrade. Mm -hmm. Yes, look at that. 
from here, we're going to do a software update. We're updating from the App Store and the Updates panel at the top. So there's a couple of updates available. Boing, 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 boing. Guys, there we have it. There's the final result. We have a nice new shiny Mac running Yosemite 1010, and this is it running uh, nice and fast and smooth, nice and fluid. No issues with 2 gig of RAM. Okay, it could be more powerful, but it's still pretty good, works pretty well. Uh, no issues I can you know, immediately find on here. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time. There you go, that's, that proves what it's running. See you later.